All right, what's up, guys? I'm back. I just did the the last episode um, of Hazecation. Uh, it was good. It was short. It was sweet. I'm sure you loved it. This is the second episode that I know you're also going to love because this is much more based in debauchery and mistakes. So if you are someone who loves me, um, that 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 wants to keep loving me and not like see that uh i i do bad things okay if you're that if okay if you don't want if you want the, the wool to stay down you don't want to go through the thin blue veil you want that gone if you don't want to do that if you want to just like ignorance is bliss that's relationship for the rest of our days i'm going to ask you to stop listening to this because this trip to seattle that i'm about to talk about is going to make your nuts go hit and just and if you don't want your nuts to go, then don't then, then then keep listening or don't listen or just keep keep listening but don't which one makes more sense doesn't matter you guys are in I went to Seattle saw my boys there's my buddy Tom he owns his own condo that's a big deal because this guy's kind of a fuck up like, this is the kind of guy who lost his keys while he was looking for his keys. But Tom, I'm not going to shit on Tom too much because Tom let me stay in his place, man. Tom let me stay in his place for three nights. Well, two nights. Yeah, two nights. And it was just, from the word go, the boys came in. came in hot. First night, it was me, Terry. I mean, big, gorgeous. Terry, I'm going to break down the boys real quick. Terry's a beautiful kid big guy he's put some weight on but when you're six three six four and you look like chris brown uh after a stint in prison like it looks like chris brown if chris brown decided that he was gonna eat nothing but red meat and get punched in the face for a year that's he looks like chris brown but after the swelling had came down and everywhere except for like below his neck like he's still kind of fat but like the tattoos are like real nice because tattoos are slimming that's why big guys get tattoos. You get you get like the dark tattoos, black, white doesn't matter. You look slimmer. Are you slimmer? No, you're still too, you're still 265 and you could stand to lose at least 40. Right? But good looking guy. Terry pulls it in obscene. He's got a girlfriend now. And I will say, from what I saw, Terry, faithful boyfriend. I know your girls are listening to this, but that's okay. That's okay. I just want to make sure all the bases are covered. The level of ass that this guy would turn down would would make you go take it. It make you go t- you're taking a nap. You're going to take a nap. You're like, wait, this guy said no to who? Which sisters? The older and the younger one. The younger one's a little bit hotter, but the older one still could throw it down. He both of them. Man, good for Terry. Yo, if you want to call with me, I guarantee you got that reference and you're laughing right now. If not, fuck off. Terry's cute kid. He came to play. Jeffy, Team Jake. Team Jake with Nell, a.k.a. Jeffy. Team Jefferson. This guy is the man. He came in hot. He's Mr. Bicep. Mr. Bicep, if Mr. Bicep didn't like his dad and the only way he was ever going to make his dad disapprove more was if he got bigger biceps. That's Jeffy. Jeffy came to play. TJ Boatwright, a.k.a. Boat, a.k.a. the guy looks like he builds boats. Looks like he builds boats and then sits in the boat all day long, like just dipping, and but he's, he's dipping but upper and bottom, and he's just gutting it. He's like a real savage. Kind of guy who says, hey, baby, I love you, and I'm going to need you to do me a favor. I'm going to need you to slap me in the face as hard as you can. I'm going to need you to Brad Pitt and Fight Club me, okay? He's got a big, like a big round face, so like you know it's not gonna hurt either one of you. But he wants to feel a little something because he does a lot of drugs. Then there was Josh, aka Josh Gone Wild, aka Josh with the super duper awesome, sexy long hair. No longer cut it all off. The kid is jacked. He's a jacked kid. It's annoying. It's annoying how jacked he is because he was the he was like the fat kid, and so now like, I was the jacked guy. Oh, okay, still kind of the jacked guy, but he was definitely not the jacked guy. And now the guy looks like Duke Nukem but with black hair and a smaller piece 
Haven't seen Josh's piece. He's the only friend of mine whose piece I haven't seen. I would love to see it one of these days, but that's not happened yet. Cool? Are we cool with that? I just want to see his dick. Don't fucking judge me because I want to see my friend's dick. That's my best friend. I want to see his dick. I want to see his piece. What if he dies and all I can identify is his fucking cock? That's a that's a new girl reference. But it was but it was rated R, so I said cock instead of penis. You see me looking over here? I'm looking I'm looking off to the right because there's no one to look at. I don't want to just keep staring at my beautiful face. Even though I did get a trim today, it looks pretty fucking good. Uh, who else was there? That was it. That was oh Mandy. Shout out Mandy. Shout out Mandy. Mandy is the bestest, sweetest, nicest lady in the whole wide world. Nicest girl. She'll never not be a girl. That's Mandy. She's blood. Not a blood. Not like gang gang. But she's like she's the best. And Tom and Tom's sister and Tom's sister's friends. And I'm not. I'll get to that. I'll get to I'll get to Tom's sister's friends in a bit. Because I got some things to say. Actually, no, I don't. I just fucked one of them. That's not. And well, there's no, there's no story to that. Just had sex with one of them. Uh, very nice girl. Uh, may or may not have red hair. Ah, redheads are cool, guys. Guys, redheads are cool. Okay. There's people, people are mean to red to 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 gingers, to gingers, ginger, gingerous, ginger. Put a. Can I get a? Can I get a, a an asterisk? But a gingerisk at the end of this one. Yeah. There's no way she looks. She's she's not she's not gonna watch this. I'm not gonna send it to her, so it doesn't really matter. But your boy got in there with the redhead, so you know it's really not cool that like you can just talk about like what happens when you go on these things and you just like talk like openly about like the things that you do sexually with these people. And I feel like you should just maybe like just keep like because it's like it's her business and it's your business, so maybe you should just like keep it like a secret because it's not all yours. Um. Eat shit. Eat shit. Fucking is dope. Dope. It's dope. Why don't we say that, by the way? Why don't we just... Why don't we never say that? We never say sex is awesome. Like, if you ask your friend, like, hey, man, what are some of your favorite things? They never say sex first. They never say that. They say, oh, I like like hiking and, like, you know, long walks and, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Like, no, sex is... It's the best. It's the best thing we do. And it's supposed to be because... So we'll make more people so our species can live on. But we still have assholes who are like, oh, what's your favorite thing? Oh, I like Mexican food. No. Have you come before? Have you come before? Do people that haven't had sex know sex is the best? Virgins are like, man, uh, I haven't had sex yet, but if you tell me I can have it right now, um, I'll do that over any a trail run you would ever want to go to. Any... Any food truck you have, I don't. I will say no to that and yes to coming. I want to come and then I want to tell you, I want to lie to you about the things that I like. Because okay, so all this, this whole thing about like, oh, we're, you know, it's not cool to talk about sex. Yeah, fuck off, dude. Your boy got a little action. I mixed it up and she threw it back, and then I caught it, and then she caught it on her. Th- no, I did. I didn't. I didn't. I did too many drugs for me to finish. So. Which is kind of like, that's okay, right? Like, it, it's one thing to not start. Like, if you can't even, like, if you're like my buddy, the Mush King, aka Tucker Brookshire, aka that's his real name, aka follow him on Instagram and, and hear his bits about how his dick's broken. But he's working on it. He's a sex therapist. He's very hot. And he respects her for her hotness and her insights and how to get his cock 10 fucking hit. 10 hit. You you're better. You should start. You get it going. If you don't finish, who cares? You get as long as she finishes, you fucking win. Cause that's the male ego. It's like, yeah, I want to come, but if she comes, I'm gonna come to that later. Like I can't come right now because sometimes upper make it impossible for me to feel the end of my dick. But we're getting into that anyway. Had sex with the redhead. She's very hot. Shout out to her. Shout out to her. I I can't say her. I won't say her name because that's fucking rude. But I will. I will mouth her name. Did you, did you catch that? If you can read lips, you know what I said. Or it's like one of those dubs where it says, you You said you like, you like pineapple cinnamon? You like pineapple cinnamon? You like pineapple cinnamon? Is that what you like? Anyway, the boys got together. And that. And by the way, those are all the boys. Those are all the boys. I'm, I'm not missing a single boy. All the best, all the guys I wanted there were there. Well, Big Jake wasn't there, but like I think it was better that Big Jake wasn't there. Because if Big Jake was there, I would still be there. 
Does that make sense? If the big guy was there, we have so much fun that we all just don't leave. We just like, hey, we're we, we're here now. We're not leaving. We're we're gonna stay here and do drugs for the rest of our days. Anyway, we we did drugs. Now, here's the thing about drugs. I don't think you should do drugs unless all of your friends are doing drugs. Then definitely do drugs. By the way, if you are in the room when your friends are doing drugs, you're in line to do drugs. I don't care how cool you are. I don't care how Mike Winchell in Friday Night Lights where he's like standing there. He's like, no, I don't, I don't drink. It's like, what are you, gay? No, I'm not gay. Let me prove to you by fucking you in the bathroom. Hey, yeah, it's a Disney movie. Fuck you. It's implied, even though you don't see that we actually smash. We pull our jeans up at the exact same time, and it's almost like we're not. Either of us are wearing underwear, but we know that in Texas, in high school football in Texas, everyone is fucking, and that's why chlamydia is rampant uh, at uh, East Permian High. Woo! Hell of a riff. Look, uh, I like drugs. Certain kinds of drugs. Anything up my nose, I'm out. I, if I have to, if I have to snort it or shoot it, ah, nope, nope, not gonna do that. Not gonna do that. Not gonna do that because that's it's just like it's it's too much. Anything you can, if you can take something and it will leave a mark when you're done with it, don't do it. I mean, tattoos for sure, but like needles, track marks. You want track marks on your arm? I haven't done that, but I'm never gonna do that. Unless all my friends are doing it, then I fucking whatever. It's the boys. It's just the boys. It's not the same thing. What was I saying? Probably something really important. Oh, yeah. So, here's the thing. I took a pill in Ibiza. Did you have each year I was cool? I went out my ass over that 10 years old. But if I could do with something to do. That was my two days. We just we just take the little thing and you take it. And then you know what's, you know what's funny? is One is enough. One of those things is enough. You take one little thing named after a girl you probably don't like, aka Molly, and then you have the best time. You have the, because what it does is all those good feelings. Say, say all your good feelings are kind of hanging out right here. They're not at the surface yet. They're kind of hanging out like, yo, we're ready to go anytime. Like if a girl blows her skirt up by accident, we're up here. If there's free food, we're up here. It's like shots of Jameson, not shots of like whatever well whiskey is. We're up here. We're always ready. We're always ready. That stuff takes that and goes just it just geyser geyser like 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 kaiser permanente geyser geyser kaiser it's fucking dope right and then you just go and you just you dance and you dance and you talk to people about their hopes and dreams and it's but you drink but you drink water you don't need to keep you don't need to have any alcohol because that cuts down on 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 the high. You want to just drink alcohol, drink alcohol, drink water and chew gum. That's it. Drink water and chew gum. Okay? Am I clear? That's what you're supposed to do. Did I do it just like that? No. No, I didn't. I did that and then I drank all the alcohol and beer and shots um and then had sex so like i mean i did most of the things you probably weren't supposed to do on that drug i did it because i'm reckless everything in moderation even moderation and then and then you can't spell moderation at some point at some point it's just like more wait how much is enough more are you asking me or telling me no more okay so i should more you keep saying more but i don't know if more that's what it is that was the first night. Second night, and that was me, Terry, uh, uh, Jeffy, Tom, Tom's uh, sister, Tom's sister's friends, one of which I had sex with. Woo! Is that annoying when I like give myself props for having sex? It's gotta be, right? Dude, I lost Patty Varner 40 minutes ago, and this episode is only like 30 minutes long so far. But Patty, if you're listening, I want you to know I did not use a condom. But I didn't come, so nothing bad can happen. Everyone knows that. Everyone knows that if you don't wear a condom but you don't come, you can't get STDs. Everyone knows that. You can't get because I because I asked her after I was done. Like, are you, you good? actually? I didn't ask her at all. I just trust her. Whatever. It's cool, right? Wait, it's good, right? It's good, I, guys. I practice safe fun. I'm a safe fun guy. I wear condoms. Every time, except for the times that I don't because they're hot. 
Like, if you're hot, I'm just not going to work. Like, that's kind of my rationale sometimes. It's like, okay, like, if she's not that hot, I'm definitely going to work on it. But if she's really hot, I'm probably not going to wear a condom. No condom. My mom is so mad right now. Bonnie is like, I can't believe it. Mom, you can believe it. Come on. He had two kids. You were all about not wearing condoms. And you guys had Jesus, and we know that Jesus is not a fan of rubbers. That's a, that's a fact. Everyone, everyone knows that. Guys, it's good to be back. I'm being honest with you guys. I miss I miss ranting into a mic and a camera alone, which is what I'm doing right now. I'm just ranting alone. I'm 35 minutes in, and I'm not, I haven't even scratched the surface. I mean, I have, anyway. Went out first night, great. Second night, everyone comes in. You know when you're hungover and you're like, I, I can't do, I can't move, I can't do anything unless one of the boys comes in, like one of the the new guy comes in and he's ready to rock. Whenever you bring the energy of someone coming with the boys, it's it's trouble. This was Josh, a.k.a. Josh Gone Wild, a.k.a. Joshy Duke Nukem here. A.K.A. Josh. It's one, one trap bigger than the other. That's a, that's a bad nickname. You guys know what I fucking mean. Anyway, dude, Josh came in on fire, and I was like, all right, let's do it. Cracked a beer. Went to the pool, cracked a beer. Cracked more beers. We had more beers. Guys, we're getting after it. Oh, just to back up, your boy had sex and then cuddled all night. I did not I did not leave. I stayed and I cuddled. That's what I did, so I finished it off. I'm a cuddler. I'm all about it. Someone gave me a hard time. Like, Blair, I feel like you're too muscular to cuddle with. I feel like you're just too cut up. It feels like I'm cuddling with a like a box of crayons. A box of really hard, twisted steel crayons. It's like I'm cuddling with like a burlap sack full of big metal steel crayons. Honestly, cuddling with me is like cuddling with like a bike tire. Like parts of me, like the ends are soft, but most of it's kind of like the spokes. It's just kind of like going to poke you a little bit. That made sense, right? <coughs> Disgusting. Edit that out, Blair. I'm not gonna. We we run it back, guys. We get all the guys. We go, we go to a Mariners game, right? Now, on the way to the Mariners game. Now, a Mariners, Mariners, it's baseball, right? Everyone's drinking when they're doing baseball. Doing, do, watching baseball. When you're doing baseball, they're drinking, obviously, because it's fucking baseball. It's boring as shit. Love the Mariners. Go M's. But then we thought, like, guys, 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 guys. What if... And hear me out. What if we did drugs at the baseball game? Don't you think that might make baseball more fun? I do. I do think it made, made, that's what we did. That's what we did. We did that. We just, we just, we just, we just, we just did more drugs. Watched the M's win on a walk off. Well, I didn't watch it. It was kind of like off in the back, fucking kind of tweaking out a little bit because of drugs. Drank, saw all the boys, saw my boy Jason Boyce. Shout out, Boyce. I know you're not listening. I heard you get married in Mexico. You're a son of a bitch. That's a long way to travel. I'm not happy about it. And I'm not in the wedding, so fuck off. Nah, I'll be there. Like, there's no way I'm not going to be there. Like, I wish I was... Like, I wish I wasn't going to be there because then I could just, like, talk more shit about it. But I know that I'm not going to be able to say no to that trip. That's going to be... That's going to be crazy. So, boys, Kaylee, love you guys. Good to see you guys. Wish I would saw more of you when I wasn't on drugs, but I was on drugs all the time. So, what can you say? Can't say much. Anyway, we went, and after that, it was just. Because, you know, the thing about, about more. About, <laughs> just talking about it makes me mumble. The next night, or that night, the M's game night, I just. I just. I just. Just boop, and then boop, and then boop, and then you know went to went to Pound Town with the same girl because you know what when you when it when it's good you want to double dip. Remember like when you were a kid and you'd get Pop Murphy's breadsticks and you go to your friend's house and like they have different rules than you do have so then like you take your you you take your breadstick you dip it you take a bite you dip it again and they're like what the fuck dude are you fucking double dipping I'm like yeah I am man I'm not gonna dip around my, around my bite mark I'm sorry. How clean do you think your mouth is? Is it cleaner than mine? Is it? I brushed twice today. So fuck you. We're 12. All, we, 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 we played in the dirt today. What are you talking about? You trampoline in your backyard and that's, think that's clean? We ate off it today. I'm going to double dip. With the breadsticks in 2005 
and with this redhead in 2019. Shout out Red. I was going to say her name out loud and I had to stop myself. Because I'm a gentleman. I made her get on top. I'm a gentleman. I'm a gentleman. Guys. Patty. You get it. You get it. We went out. We rolled our faces off. Melted our faces off. And now, I don't want to go too much into the party because I don't really remember. Because uh, think back. Hayescation. This is Hayescation part two. And your boy was hurting. It was brutal. Just drank and drank and just didn't sleep. And then, you know, fuck. But, like, still, like, sleep a little bit. But then I had to get up in the morning and, like, get my shit together. There's a great video of me. We went to this went to this Thai food place. We got to eat. Haven't eaten anything in, like, 12, 13 hours, right? Go to Thai food place. I want Thai food. I'm hungry. We get in there. It is the loudest. They're just, they're just, it's like you walk into, like, an EDM concert. But at EDM, they're playing EDM. You walk into Thai food. You want to eat Thai food, not hear Thai food. They were playing the, the, the Thai food equivalent to the music. And here, I'm gonna play it right now. What? <laughs> <laughs> you see how just annihilated I am? I'm asleep in a Thai restaurant going over the sound of fucking worst sound in the world, the Thai food, the Thai food music, Thai music, Thai music, music, food, Thai. Dyslexia is crazy. It just, and then I, and then I died. Now yeah, I, I made it, I made it, I, mean, I did it okay. I made it all right. I had, I had a beer. I did okay. But then the plane ride back. I've never, I'm not a big suicide guy. I lack the constitution for it. Can't really see myself doing it. But there was a moment. There was a moment. It's probably about hour, hour one and a half in. Hour one out of a four and a half hour flight from Seattle to Chicago, where I thought just end it, end it, just end, end it right now. I'm ready. Take me. It was after an hour and a half of having the shakes. If you don't, if you don't know what the shakes are, the shakes are what you have when your, your body is detoxing, it's like you, 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 you can't control it, right? So my brain was like trying to shut off, right? Brain was trying to like go to sleep. Every time I would almost fall asleep, my body would do this. Every time, it would shake me awake. Hour and a half of that, of every 10 seconds. And then the guy next to me, this fat piece of shit, just all over my armrest. Like his arm is touching, it's on my thigh. And he's, and he's fucking, I hate him. I hate him. And he's coughing. You know that dad cough? You know how dads, when they cough and sneeze, they just always, like it might be their last. I was blowing his nose. I was like, you know what? Take me. If we go down, if we go down right now, I'm okay. Had a good run. Had a great trip in Seattle. Sat in the sun, good tan. I'm having a good looking corpse. See this? Good looking corpse. I was close, guys. Hey, I was almost like, hey, 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 guy, you just gotta fucking stop coughing or choke me to death. Stop coughing or take your hand and shove it into my mouth. Just into my mouth and don't stop until I stop kicking. Deal? Deal. But your name is Brent. He was a fucking, he was for sure a Brent. I hated this guy. He was the worst. Anyway, I finally land in Chicago. I'm dying. $50 Uber? Nah. Take the train. Train will get me close-ish. Take the train. Take another bus. I'll be good to go. Train runs three stops. I'm in like, I'm just somewhere in Illinois. O'Hare does not land you in Chicago. It lands you at O'Hare, which is like an hour from Chicago. I'm just in the, I'm by a Dunkin' Donuts, I'm just, just, I'm, just kill me. I'm asking people to mug me. It's like, hey, I got some stuff you might want for free. Just all you gotta do is just punch me repeatedly, repeatedly, repeatedly into the face until I say repeatedly, like I just got punched in the face. Ugh. Get off, call an Uber, $20 Uber, get home. Don't sleep, really. Kind of die. Had to work the next night with the shakes. Dude, I had, my body for the next day was like the serotonin was so like trying to come back that I only had room in my, in my body, in my emotions for tears. I was, I just needed to cry. 
I was ready to cry. Couldn't. I was walking to work. Couldn't feel my legs. I had to hit my fucking legs. Like, you know, like I'm like I'm in the... What's that? Remember, remember, remember Drumline? When there's the one guy who like really wants to get it. It's kind of like that scene in Footloose where they teach the guy that can't dance how to dance. And there's that one white kid who's on the drum line. He's like the one white guy. Like He's like, he's like doom, 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 doom. That was me on my legs making them move forward. <sighs> was it worth it? Ask me if it was worth it. Was it worth it? Yeah, guys. I would do it all again. All again, no questions asked. I had too much, I had so much fun. That was my trip. I did it. I got after it. I knocked him dead. You proud of me? Proud of me? Uh, I want to say, uh, I just want to apologize to anybody I may have offended. And I'm going to follow up the apology with a fuck you. Like, you're sitting there and you're like, fuck you. And I'm sitting here like, I don't care. Because who, who gives a shit? Like, what is it? It doesn't matter. You know we're going to die, right? People that people that put their effort into something that somebody else said that wasn't even about them, it's amazing to me. Like, you're going to die. Go out and f- go fuck somebody right now. It's the best thing. I've already said this before. It's the best thing. Go do that. Fuck. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go find me someone right now, hopefully. It'll probably just end up being me jerking off, but maybe it's on camera, so that's cool, right? Right? Hell yeah, hell yeah. Guys, it's going to be back. I'm putting this, this – well, I'm putting the first one out on Friday, but I'll put the next one out again on Monday. I'm going to do a couple quick ones to get the, get the ball rolling. All right? It's been ghoul, been ghoul, been ghoul. Fucking figure it out, man. I love you guys. Thanks for listening. Uh – also, what I would I, actually you know what let's do this. Let's end like this. If you're still listening, which you probably aren't, um, but if you are, uh, get whoever you are, just hit me up on Instagram. You have my number. Text me, uh, email. Just if you know my email, actually, best no one's no my fucking email. Who cares? Um, I'm thinking about doing segments where like people just give me something like a topic. You know, like just hey, hey talk about. Hey, it'd be funny to hear you talk about this. Like panda, like panda rape, or something like that. You know, something, something weird, or like pretzel crisps. Like, what do you think about pretzel crisps? You know, I would go off on that. You, you can. And don't send me one. If you, if you decide to do this, if you decide to do this, which you probably won't, because there's three of you out there. Send me a list of things that you think would be fun for me to talk about that you want to hear me talk. It's not about you because this isn't your show. It's my show. It's running back with Blair Bomber. Your fucking face isn't right there. It's my fucking face. Send me a list of things that you think are fucking, I could go off about. I think that'd be fun. And I'll, I'll give you a shout out or I won't. If it's like really weird, if you're like, hey, Blair, talk about butt plugs. I'll be like, all right, well, Niles loves, this is from Niles. What, tell me if butt plugs feel like a good view to do for me. This is from Chaz. What's his last name? Cock. Still funny. All right, whatever. I'm out. This has been fun. I missed you guys. Even though, I, I mean, I miss everybody at home. And now I'm, I, I'm here telling you guys I miss you guys. So it's all love. Love you guys. I'm out. Later.